Hello everybody, welcome back. Today is day eight and uh, June 17th. <laughs> uh, hopefully I got the date right. And we've made some serious progress again, even though today was cut short due to the weather. It's not great. Uh, it was misting earlier and that makes the conditions really unsafe on the roof because the firestone itself is very slippery, but the tiles, those glass tiles are extremely slippery. So uh, they had to call for the rest of today uh, just, you know, just to keep things safe. Uh, plus we are waiting on some materials because we're short on some materials for uh, some of the custom angles and stuff that we have to, uh, or they have to, <laughs> not me, uh, they have to actually create to make everything fit together correctly on the roof. So first let's take a look at what's done. So on this beautiful side here on my back roof, because the main roof's here, back roof, uh, all the tiles on this side are in place and they run up pretty nicely up the side. Uh, they do still have to do some trim work of getting it back in place and then just making all that nice and pretty. But uh, other than that, this whole side is looking really good. Look how nice they look. And of course we got the nice uh, edging here, boom. Uh, other than that, uh, this side still needs uh, a topper as well. Choop. It'll be a little ridge vent that goes there and you know, just to keep all the humidity and stuff out of that attic. As we move to the other side of the back roof, ah, uh, most of this roof is done as well. We're missing one tile right here. And as you know, the homeowner, there is one tile. It's a little questionable right here. They had a lot of custom work done around here. They spent hours uh, bending and shaping metal to get it to you know fit pretty properly. We'll zoom a little bit in on that so you guys can see. Um, it's pretty beautiful overall. Uh, the only thing we have a little concern about, and I don't know if you can see it well, is there's a there's a piece right. Hmm, where's it at? There's a piece right here. Kind of looks like a baseball plate. Well, there's a little strip above that, and that's kind of an awkward strip. Yeah, it's, it's probably still, you know, going to let the rain and stuff run off, but it just doesn't fit with the lines of the rest of the roof. Let's, uh, let's, let's step back for a moment and, and see if you guys can see that a little bit better. See, we're further back here. You can kind of see the whole layout and design of the roof, how the tiles flow. And then you get to that, that corner over there. And you can see yeah, that, that piece, of, it's a little out of place. I can understand the uh, you know baseball plate design, but not so much a little strip on top. So hopefully, hopefully uh, those guys can do something about that just to make it a little, little more clean, I guess you would say. And also it, it's, it'll probably help with, you know, making the water wick off the roof a little bit better. But other than that, uh, if we look at the, uh, the vent here. That's looking pretty sweet. I think they did a really great job on that. And uh, overall, the rest of it is looking really nice. And I'm quite happy with uh, you know, the work they're doing and just how, how, well, how nice it looks. All right, as for the backside of the main roof here, so this is our backside of the main roof. Uh, not much has changed from yesterday. Uh, the main focus was on this back roof and uh, the uh, front roof, I guess you would call it here. Uh, they were trying to get both of these done before uh, you know any weather came in. They were hoping they were going to get a full day today before the weather got kind of nasty. Uh, that didn't work out too good, but most of this front roof here is done. And they only really had to stop this one, one, because of the weather, but the main problem that came up first is, is they need some additional material to fix, or, well, I guess custom bend metal to, to patch in that that corner because that's a very tough angle. Um, other than that though, the rest of this is looking really nice. Uh, no complaints at all. I really like the uh, the little topper they have on the roof. I think I think that's pretty cool. 
and I'm hoping the uh, ridge vents that are gonna go on this roof and on the main roof all the way up here, I hope they kind of have the same design because that would look really stylish. Um, other than that, looking pretty good here. And then yes, we get to, to our troubled corner and there's still, still some more work involved in them tying in uh, the vinyl siding and stuff and making that all look pretty. But yeah, the big one is definitely going to be this corner that's mostly blocked by this tree. They have put tile all the way up the side here and you can kind of see, you kind of see how they're gonna go about it. It's really tough, yeah, I know the tree's in the way. It's probably technically too close to the house. Um, we might have to do something with that in the future. But uh, you can see how they're, how they're working it, so. I'm gonna be really intrigued on how they, uh, you know, get the metal to fit so well. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a metal, metal. <laughs> I'm no metal expert here, but uh, it's gonna be pretty, pretty wild to see how they piece that all together. And uh, other than that, we'll come back around to the main roof, the front, our major uh, power spot um there is there's nothing going on here uh this is the same as it was uh i think yesterday this, this was not the main focus besides that i think we might actually need some more panels so from my understanding there is about 180 panels that are going to be the tesla glass with uh the solar in them so I don't, I don't know if we really have enough between these two and a half boxes, because that box is about half full, two and a half boxes and whatever's on the roof. I don't know if there's enough panels there. I, I could be wrong, but um, they might need to actually bring in some more to uh, make this happen. Other than that, uh, still pretty organized here. Uh, we did have them move some more of their, you know, electronics and stuff like that into the garage to keep... Uh, them safe because of the weather. It also speeds up uh, the time it takes them to set everything up every day. But uh, still very neat here. You got the trash cans. And uh, I think they're doing a pretty good job overall. Just a couple little things. All right, so there's a look at the roof so far on uh, this day. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. It, tomorrow is looking pretty rainy, so they might not actually show up at all. So. This may jump forward a couple days because, well, we gotta have good weather for them to work on the roof. But uh, let me know what you think. If you have any comments, questions, you know, whatever, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to try to answer them. Uh, other than that, hopefully you enjoyed the video and have a great day.